Hey there YouTube. Yeah, I've been playing around with this uh, little AC, uh, DC to AC circuit. Um, now, I've left. Move this round, can I? No, I'm going to move you round. It's going to be easier. I've, um, that's, the, that's the first one I did. Well, I've just done this one. Um, this one actually gives a bit more power. This is like I don't know, about 10 watts it, this can give. Um, I made a transformer. Not that you're actually looking at it, there you go. Uh, now this is a, uh, a just a regular transformer, primary and the secondary. And there's also feedback. Um, and it gives us the ability to convert to a wall and turn on these strip lamps. Now there's a little bit of noise, but not a great deal. Uh, we'll just turn that off for a second. We keep doing temperature checks, but really this this doesn't really get that warm. I should probably just leave it on for a while. And I don't know if you can see that over there. That's the power it's drawing. Around about six and a six and a third watts, hundred amp, and it's polymer twelve volts down to uh, six and a half. If I start going up, now the only reason is you get a lovely sound from the, the twelve watts. There you go, twenty. 22, 23 watts. Got a little tune. Um, put this light on. Nice. Now, of course, it drives these LED ones very easily, and it also drives this one which um, is a remote one changes color it's five watts when the white's on um, and it drives that okay as well that's pretty good but the good thing here is that it's a 22 watt tube and it certainly takes it up to uh, 22 watts Oops. everything's cold as you expect put it back on again straight up okay it's on 3 amps there now at 26 watts which really you wouldn't want to be doing that there you go seems reasonable enough there's going to be a little bit of fluctuation on this because um, I suppose because the frequency in this board and the, the components aren't soldered together um, and that I actually made this transformer and well I'm surprised it works to be fair but it does so I'm going to put the other, the other bulbs on uh, and show you what you can do on those I thought it was a little bit of a wine but this is the, um, the LED yeah, it's when we put it on, kept it on uh, the white one before. I mean, that is damn bright, that is. Um, it would play up a little bit. Of course, we need different colours on this. There's only one thing I don't like about this, is it seems to be just drawing constantly. It's one of those you switch the whole circuit on and off, you know, with the lights. You can't leave the circuit on and then be attaching lights because it actually draws draws the power. Um, but at least it gets this one. On, on, on this one, I couldn't get it to, to hold that white on, really. I'll give that a little bit extra. It reckons it's drawing six and a half watts, which is supposed to be too much for that circuit. It's supposed to be three watt circuit, but it doesn't really work out to be that. 
and of course it, it drives a little LED um, bulb quite easily this thing, make this go really bright, but this is only a 3 watts uh, AC E27 e is it? Uh, fitting see I thought it was quite good that it actually that it actually drove the tube 22 watt tube I got this to glow as well but it didn't really like it and it wouldn't glow up that bright I have got some um, I actually got this other circuit to do that too but how long it would last I don't I don't really know no, no that's warm but this can get a little bit warm if it's just sat on doing nothing it's um, a 5 watt resistor in there I'll draw up uh, the little schematic and, and put that yeah it's been playing around with the little converting DC to AC of course because I've got my batteries on my solar panel and I want to be able to use as much as I can from it like all the lighting in here but apart from this that makes the lighting look terrible now but all the lighting in here is from the from the battery light up there uh, the light behind there's a light behind the monitor there's a light there back of the wall there's a light down there behind that monitor and they all come off the off the solar panel no, off the batteries which are charged by the solar panel anyway, cheers for watching guys I'll put the, the schematic in somewhere at the start or the finish another successful build Can't leave it on too long so there's no heat sink. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. Not, you know, because they're going for a few seconds, they're not sort of warm. But still, you know, it lights up. No noise from this toroid. Um, if you go like above, like if we go up to 20 volts, that's what you get. But uh, sitting around 12 volts, let's say uh, 12.6, 12.7, 12.8 is where you normally want to be having your battery, isn't it? Yeah, 